What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we are going to be talking about the secondary weapons in Black Ops 3. So in this gameplay I start off using the Locust Bolt Action Sniper Rifle but I'm going to switch to my RK5 3 round burst secondary and you guys are going to see that this is actually a very, very powerful weapon. It's not quite that of a primary weapon but it's definitely up there and it looks like this year is going to be the first year in 3 years that we actually have secondary weapons that are worth using. I mean think about advanced warfare, you know we had a bunch of you know little very low damage pistols, the Atlas 45, the PDW, the MP443 Grok, none of those are really all that great. The only one I kind of liked was the RW1, but even that one was flaky at times. Last year with Call of Duty Ghosts, again, a bunch of little pea shooters, the M9, the MP443, the P226, none of these were very good. The last time we had good secondary weapons was in Black Ops 2. We had the 5.7, which did a lot of damage. We had the B23R, which the three round burst pistol kind of reminds me of the RK5 here. We had the Execute which wasn't the most powerful gun, but it was kind of fun, especially if you get up close. And then, of course, we had the Cat 40, the fully auto machine pistol, which was very, very good. And at close range, it could, you know, outshoot most of the primary weapons. So uh, that was kind of cool. You know, it gave you a reason to run a secondary weapon. In Advanced Warfare, in Call of Duty Ghosts, I never really felt the need to run a secondary weapon. I was like, you know what, if I can have this, create a class point to be able to spin on a wild card for an extra perk or, you know, an extra piece of equipment or something like that, I'm going to use that because the pistols are so shit and they're so worthless, why would I ever waste a spot in my created class? Well, that's going to be changing this year. So let's check out the guns we know about so far in the secondary slot in Black Ops 3. So first up, we have the MR6, which is just kind of like a, a normal semi-auto pistol but it's got the strongest damage in its class so that sounds like it's gonna be pretty good probably takes people down just like you know two maybe three shots Next up, we have the RK5, which you guys have been seeing this gameplay. This thing's an absolute monster. It's a three-round burst. It's got a super fast burst cycle rate. It doesn't have very much recoil. You guys can see up close, one and two burst kills aren't that uncommon. A little bit farther away, sometimes two to three burst kills, but it's still like it's a, a very, very fast killing weapon. And then finally, this weapon right here, I haven't been able to use, but uh, I've heard good things about it, the LCAR9. It's a full auto machine pistol, medium fire rate with modest damage. So I'm assuming that's going to be pretty similar to the uh, the Cat 40 from Black Ops 2. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I think this is really good news. Like I, I miss being able to have secondary weapons that can get you out of a bind. I miss running out of ammo and my primary and switching to a secondary and taking somebody out and kind of outplaying them in that regard and stuff like that. Like I, I haven't used secondary weapons in so long in Call of Duty, but it looks like we will definitely want to be using them in Black Ops 3 because they're pretty powerful. So I love what you guys think about that. Do you like that change? Do you not like that change? Would you guys rather have it like Advanced Warfare or would you rather have it like Black Ops 2? Leave comments down below. I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.